Hey everyone, this is Grill, just doing a quick uh, review of the Windows 7 desktop and the arrow feature. Um, so let's get started. As you can see, it's a big improvement over uh, Windows Vista. Definitely XP if, if you're coming from XP. Um, the, the taskbar is a lot better. They got rid of um, um, the dark and you know, dreary colors and put in nice, clear, and uh, friendly colors. Um, one thing that I like is how uh, when you hover over the start button, uh, it glows and the colors of it look really nice. Um, the start menu is uh, very similar to um, Windows Vista, and you'll notice how it, it now says down here shut down unlike in, in Vista it didn't have that and if you click the button in Vista it may just put your computer in standby but now you can just click that and it'll take you to shut down um, it's you can still click on uh, your little picture up here and that'll take you to uh, your different account settings and this is where you can turn off uh, the user account control settings. Um, so if, if you don't want to be annoyed by uh, pop-ups or whatever, you can turn off there. You'll also notice how we no longer have uh, uh, words or, or, or little uh, like uh, tiles or uh, buttons or whatever uh, for each window. Uh, now, when, whenever we have a, a multiple windows for one program, it will hide behind uh, the original uh, logo, or the, the icon. And if you hover over that icon, it'll show you a little thumbnail of uh, your window. And you can easily switch back and forth to whichever one you want some cool features uh, with 7 is that if you have a bunch of uh, uh, you have a bunch of windows cluttering your space let me open some more here I'll get uh, get a calculator and say if I wanted Firefox if you do is just uh, let's see thought you just had to shake it but um, what you can do is you can just drag it to uh, the size of your desktop and that will make it uh, fit halfway uh, so if you need to uh, you know, uh, clear up some space you can compare two documents uh, really easy without doing uh, any you know moving the arrow back and forth and if you drag it to your window to the top of your screen, it will uh, open it up fully. So that's that's something cool to have. Um, I thought there was one thing where you could shake your window and that would remove, uh, that would minimize all the other ones, but uh, may not have that set. Let's say if I have bunch of windows open. Get Firefox open up. Do yeah. uh let's get WordPad opened. And I wanna see my desktop. But the problem is that I have all these windows open. Now I could hit the shortcut Windows key D. I got a WordPad. And if I enabled it on my G15 keyboard can minimize all my windows, but there's an easier way. Down in the bottom right hand corner you'll see this little rectangle bar. And if you hover over that, it'll show your desktop. But it'll still show an outline of uh, all your windows. So that's that's really cool if, if you want to see something on your desktop. Maybe you, had a f you have a file on there and you want to know the name of it. Uh, so that's cool. 
you also, uh, right next to our little uh, show desktop button, you'll see uh, the time is uh, different. We now see the date, with, and we don't even have to hover over it. Um, that's one thing I didn't like about XP, uh, where if I want to find the date, I would have to either double click uh, the time or hover over it so it, I'd get the date. And now it's automatically there for, for me everyone out there. Uh, everything looks nice and neat. Uh, when you have uh, a window open, uh, that window or that the icon will be uh, highlighted and you can just switch back and forth uh, to all your different ones. Here's uh, the alt tab menu. Which is uh, a lot better looking, a lot cleaner. Um, you'll notice down here uh, you can have more than just three uh, little icons uh, running down here. You can customize it to have as many as you want, um, which is uh, very nice to have. You can edit which ones are always on there and which ones uh, hide. Our network connections, our, our computer looks a little different. Uh, no longer flashes a blue light if you're connected. It just uh, looks like that, a little screen. Uh, we have our speaker right next to it. Huh. Thought I had my sound up more. <laughs> um, yeah, you can change that. Um, over here, you'll see. Uh, this gives us our, our libraries. I'm going to click this folder here. So if we have music, quick access to that. And this one right next to it would be Windows Media Player. And here's some uh, pre-installed music. Very nice, peaceful. This time we get three instead of two, uh, like an XP. Uh, we know this media player is uh, nice to have, but if you want something a lot better, go to uh, Windows Media Center. So you can watch your, your movies, view pictures, music, this is a great feature, uh, part of Windows 7, and you can watch uh, your DVDs without uh, buying any special software like uh, Cyberlink, Pirate DVD, any, any of those. Uh, you, you don't need those. With Windows 7 Pro, um, this comes built right into it, so you can watch uh, DVDs uh, day one. So that I, I really enjoy this. I like uh, being able to watch DVDs. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to have. Uh, if, if you're still, you know, unsure about uh, what to do for a Word document program, um, don't use WordPad because it doesn't have spell check. Um, no, they did not add that. But, uh, you know, if you ever need to type something up, uh, it's there for you. So, uh, thank you for uh, watching this little uh, video review of Windows 7 Desktop, and uh, be sure to come back to watch some more. Thanks.